everyone, today I'm Hello everyone, today I'm going to be reciting the birth of uh, the birth of Jesus from Luke chapter 2 verse 1 to 14. In those days while Augustus Caesar was a Roman emperor, he decreed a census should be taken throughout the Roman Empire. This was the first census taken while Quirinius was governor over Syria. All went to their ancestral towns to register for the census. Jo and since Joseph was a descendant of King David, he went to Bethlehem, David's ancient home, David's ancient home to, regi uh, to, to register for the census. He took along with him Mary, his fiance, who was now pregnant. Uh, then the time had come for the baby to be born. But there was no uh, inns available for, uh, for, for the baby to be born, so they gave birth to him in a manger. Mary wrapped Jesus, uh, the baby uh, snugly in strips of cloth and laid him in a manger. Then an angel of the Lord appeared to shepherds and said, and uh, the shepherds were terrified. But, but the angel reassured them, Do not be afraid, for I bring you good news that will bring joy to all people of uh, earth. The Savior, yes, the Messiah, the Lord, has come into this world. You will find him by this sign. You will see a baby wrapped snugly in strips of cloth laid, laying in a manger. And then... The angels were joined by a vast amount of armies of angels saying praise, uh, giving praise to God and saying, give glory to God in the highest of heaven. Thank you. Good morning, church. My name is Ashlyn. Uh, I'm going to recite uh, Isaiah 11, 1 to 5. Uh, a shoot of... A shoot will grow up from the stump of Jesse. From the roots, a branch will bear a fruit. The spirit of the Lord will rest on him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of knowledge, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and fear of the Lord. And he will delight in the fear of the Lord. Uh, he will not judge by what he sees with his eyes or what he hears with his ears. But with righteousness, he will judge the needy. Uh, with justice, he will give decisions to the poor of the earth. He will strike the earth with the rod of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips, he will, uh, he will slay the wicked. Why, righteousness will be his belt, and faithfulness will be the sash around his waist. Thank you. This is how the birth of Jesus the Messiah came about. His mother, Mary, was pledged to be married to Joseph. But before they came together, she was found to be pregnant through the Holy Spirit. Because Joseph, her husband, was faithful to the law and did not want to expose her to public disgrace. He had in mind to do divorce her quietly. But after he had considered this, an angel of the Lord had appeared in his dreams and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet. The virgin will give birth to a son and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel of the Lord had commanded him and took Mary home as his wife. Hello everyone. I'm going to recite, I'm Sean, I'm going to recite Isaiah 9 verse 1 to 7. Nevertheless, there would be no more gloom for those who were in distress. In the past, he humbled the land of Zelbun and the land of Naphtali. But in the future, he would honor Galilee of the nations by the way of the sea beyond the Jordan. 
The people walking in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of deep darkness, a light has dawned. You have enlarged the nation and increased the joy. They rejoice before you as people rejoice at the harvest, as warriors rejoice when dividing the plunder. For as in the day of the Midian's defeat, you have shattered the yoke that burdens them, the bar across their shoulders, and the rod of their oppressor. Every, uh, every, every warrior's boot used in battle and every garment rolled in blood will be destined for burning, will be the fuel for the fire. For to us a child is born, for to us a son is given and the government will be on his shoulders. He will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, and the Prince of Peace. For the of the greatness of his government and peace, there will be no end. He will reign over David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness from that time on and forever. The zeal of the Lord Almighty will accomplish this. Thank you. Thank you.